Hey guys, this is Andreas from Pocketables.com and in this video I'm going to show you how you can use a mouse with your jailbroken iPad and also a cool trick you can do to use it for presentations. So I have a Bluetooth mouse like this one. Um, it's a Logitech M555B. I bought it a few years ago, used it uh, with a UMPC and stuff like that. Uh, and now I use it with my iPad. So this is a standard Bluetooth mouse, just uh, connects to anything that uh, well supported Bluetooth mice, which the iPad doesn't, uh, as it comes from Apple, but that's luckily fixable. So what you need is you need to head into Cydia and you need to track down an app which is called BTC mouse and trackpad. Now, uh, there's been a bit of confusion around uh, mouse support, uh, even on jailbreaking i uh, jailbroken iPads, because you used to need uh, a separate uh, Bluetooth stack um, that sort of completely changed how Bluetooth worked, and you couldn't use the standard Bluetooth manager and stuff like that. But then this app came along and actually added mouse support to the stock uh, iOS Bluetooth stack. So this one is just so much better than the other one, trust me, the other one is garbage basically. Uh, it sort of worked, but this one is just so much better. So once you have this installed, it actually works on the same principles that any other Bluetooth device, which means that uh, you pair it using the normal Bluetooth uh, manager and then as soon as you switch it on, uh, it connects. So you don't need to go in and pair it or anything like that. And then you have a mouse on your screen. And uh, uh, they've mapped the home button to uh, right click and then the scroll wheel is pinched to zoom and then uh, the left button is just the normal select. So uh, let's see if this works. You can go into settings. And once you have installed this, you'll have a new option under uh, extensions, which is where a lot of the uh, jailbroken apps live. Uh, it's called, it's just called mouse. It's not called BTC mouse and trackpad. Uh, and in here you can actually well, adjust a few settings. Um, one of the more important ones and actually one of the better features of this app is what's called presentation mode. And if you go into it, you basically get a list of all your apps. Um, and then you can select uh, which ones to use presentation mode on. Uh, I have it enabled for two screens and Keynote. Uh, and what presentation mode does is that it actually disables the standard Bluetooth mouse feature. So you lose your cursor. And then the, the left and right buttons uh, instead simulate a left and right swipe on the screen which in most presentation apps like a keynote actually makes you switch slides so if i just uh, double click the right button and go into keynote uh, this is just a um, uh, just a presentation that i found online uh, you can see that the cursor disappeared so i have to go in and actually start the presentation manually but once i do that uh, i can just control it by using the uh, left and right buttons on the mouse and I don't have to worry about uh, accidentally uh, touching the uh, the sensor at the bottom because it's completely disabled the mouse mode as long as you're in here so you can just uh, carry your mouse around and use it sort of like your remote and this actually works pretty well uh, I've used it with a, a VJ adapter which means uh, uh, you connect it to a projector and once you do that, you actually get more features in Keynote as well as other apps because then you switch to sort of dual screen mode where on the iPad screen you can either show the current slide, the current and the next, the, the current or the current and uh, presentation notes. And also you get a timer and different things like that. And then the external screen shows only the uh, only the presentation slides. So you sort of have a dual screen setup where you can see things on your iPad screen that you can't see 
uh, on the projector, which is great for having notes uh, in a presentation because you can just look at your notes without everyone else seeing them. And uh, because this, uh, this simulates a swipe sort of across the mid part of the screen, um, it works great with the extended uh, screen mode in Keynote. I also tried it with two screens, uh, which is another presentation app. It's sort of, it's very buggy, so I don't really like it, but uh, it does have more features. Uh, it, it worked on that one as well, but uh, in two screens you have this uh, adjustable um, uh, notes thing if you use uh, if you use an external monitor, uh, and then if you if you put that one if you make that too tall so it sort of covers the the middle part of the screen, then basically what this is going to do is remove that instead of actually sliding. So you you do have to be aware that it actually simulates a slide across the screen. It it doesn't act as some sort of magical uh, presentation system on the iPad. So, but even so, uh, it actually works great. I've used this in a real presentation situation and uh, I, I couldn't be happier with it. It's just you get a remote and using the VGA adapter or the HDMI adapter, you basically have everything you need to do a presentation uh, on your iPad. Uh, so even though the the presentation or the, the PowerPoint or whatever you want to call it, the keynote, um, the creation tools are sort of limited in keynote it actually it's actually capable of uh, of displaying most uh, sort of peculiar powerpoint features like you can see this is actually something to test uh, test the viewer or something like that and you can see that it works pretty well so uh, i i find this very useful so that's it and if i just go back out it switches back to the the mouse so i can just use it li uh, like a mouth mouse um uh, just so, I mean, something like this is very useful if you use apps like Splashtop where you actually remote control a computer. But what you have to be aware of is that because of the way the mouse works, it actually, um, it always emulates touch. So if you connect to uh, your computer using something like Splashtop, the mouse would em will emulate touch and then the iPad and splash top will actually emulate the mouse again so uh, you would you would expect that right click suddenly becomes uh, well right click in windows if you remote control a windows computer but it, it doesn't it's still home so you still you have to be aware of that so it's not quite as uh, smooth as what it would be on uh, well i guess android or well on windows obviously but it's still something and you can you can actually navigate most parts of uh, uh, most parts of the operating system iOS just by using a mouse. Uh, you basically just hold down and drag to get uh, uh, across the screen, and then you can type and everything like that. So, so it's a really nice feature. Um, so it's uh, called BTC Mouse and Keyboard. Uh, it's available in Syria. If your iPad is jailbroken, this is a must-have tool. Uh, I'm going to turn it off now because I'm constantly triggering stuff. Both as a presentation tool and just using it as a mouse, this works great. So thank you for watching. Hopefully you can find a use for a mouse for an iPad because I, I know I have.